Hey guys, what's up? It's David Games here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today I will be early predicting the brand new Sky Tour, but this time I'm not alone. So say hello to my boyfriend, Ryder Games. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new Mario Tour video here on the channel. Today I have something special to really announce that I think everyone will enjoy. I'm so, so, so excited for the Sky Tour, so we decided to do early predictions today, and we've got a lot of good concepts. Um, none of them are actually made by me, surprisingly. Um, all of them are made by David, so make sure to um, give, him some, give him some love in the comments of his video, because he's worked very hard on them, and he's worked really hard on a bunch of videos recently, so yeah, without any further ado, let's begin. So, for Pipe 1, we decided to include Lakitu Party Time, the sunset clouds and the sunset balloons as well as three new items as well which is Lakitu springtime the uh, sunshine clouds and the sh sunshine balloons so for Lakitu springtime I decided to give him giant banana and for the sunshine clouds I decided to give it dash panel plus and for the sunshine balloons I decided to give it coin plus so the reason I decided to give these things or make these concepts is basically because I think it's going to be mainly spring kind of based and I don't really see them having a new character like Wiggler or Honey Queen or Lack of Thunder, sorry Ryder, but I think that they will just reuse the Lack 2 Springtime outfit and make it its own character similar to Lack 2 Party Time. So, for Pipe 2, I decided to include Tanuki Mario, Tanuki Rosalina, Tanuki Kart, the White Tanuki Kart, the Tanuki Parafoil, and the White Tanuki Parafoil, or the Gold Tanuki Parafoil. And the reason we decided to include these things is mainly because it's a Sky Tour, and the Tanuki Power-Up in, in the Mario series lets you fly around or hover around and sort of just fits the sky theme like it's perfect and plus none of these things have debuted have returned since their debut therefore i think it's perfect timing for them to return as for the white tanuki cart i decided to create it because in the mario games there is an invincible version of the tanuki suit that lets you uh basically become invincible and you can't really get hurt by enemies and whatever and so i decided to make a cart based on it for Tanuki Rosalina's set and the gold Tanuki Parafoil. Also, for the same reasoning, I decided to include it because it sort of fits the item in the game. So on for the special pipe. I know this is insane and you all are gonna scream at me in the comments probably, but I made a new gold pipe and this is gold pipe number eight. And in this new gold pipe, I included a brand new character Gold Black 2, and I didn't include Gold Monty Mole because I've given up on that dream, and plus, Gold Black 2 fits this tour insanely well. So, it sounds pretty ordinary right now, right? Like, there's nothing really interesting about it, but here's what it is the catch. Everything is spotlight. All seven characters will be spotlights. So, hear me out. We have had... 14% special pipes before, as seen with the Pauline Rose pipe and the team pipes. There have been 14% with seven high ends in there. This is also seven high ends with a 14%. Therefore, I do not see why they couldn't do this kind of thing with the special pipes and make all the character spotlights. Sure, it would be a 50 pipe, and it is sort of like unrealistic but at the end of the day it's still something they've done before like they've done 14 percent rates i don't see why they couldn't do it again and i think at the end of this celebration i think it would be a perfect timing honestly so it would include all the gold characters as spotlights and there wouldn't be any other high ends in the pipe it would all be supers and normals in the other things in the pipe and I know it sounds crazy, but just listen to me on this one, because I really do think this has a possible chance of happening. For the token shop, we put in Rosalina, the T-Coop, and the plaid ribbon. 
Now, a lot of these fit because all these kinds of things were like galaxy kind of stuff. So Rosalina, T-Coop, and Quad Ribbon, um, they all fit together. And like, I, like the Big Rosalina Detective set is, um, the T-Coop and Quad Ribbon are her setup. So we decided to put Rosalina with it too. And that's what we think Toby Jones is going to do. We don't think it's going to be any kind of finance. So yeah. Now, for the Range Cups. Now, this is going to be an interesting Range Cups. And I hope this will actually happen. For the first week, we decided to put in Sky Garden, 3 Ridge Road R, and Airship Fortress RT. Now, these all fit because they're all Sky stuff. And since it's called Sky Tour in the name, we think that this is going to happen for the first range. And the second wings is going to be a little bit different. But Sky Garden is going to be a perfect track to play on. And 3 Ridge Road R is not a fun track, and so is Airship Fortress RT. For the second week, we're going to put in Sky Garden, T Days and Hills R, and Calmary Desert 2. Now, why we put these here is that Daisy Hills Cars has some top shelves that are um, kind of skyish kinds of stuff. Cowboy like Desert 2, we think it's going to happen because the probably going to make one of Cowboy probably a little bit better again, since they would have him technically available in two tours before. And usually, when they bring back spotlights, when they do spotlights, they make them kind of useful after a few tours or so. So, Cowboy Desert 2 would work perfectly well with it. As for the gifts, I decided to include Koopa Troopa the Koopa Dasher and the BBIA Parafoil for the normal gifts. And as for the Gold Pass gifts, I decided to include Lakitu, the Gold Clouds, and the Golden Balloons. Now, the reason I decided to include these two new gold things is because I was originally going to put them in the special pipe, but after I decided that all the characters would be spotlights, I decided, no, I don't think they would do that because it's too good. So I decided to include it in the gold pass. And in addition to that, I also included the blue bitty buggy as a gold pass gift because it fits the tour. It's the bitty buggy variant. It's in the sky. Lack 2 drives the blue bitty buggy in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And honestly, I see it actually happening. I know this tour is like a wish right now, but trust me, I think this is a possibility. And I, I don't know why, but I have this gut feeling that this is going to happen. For the packs, I decided to include Baby Rosalina Detective and Peach Vacation for the $20 packs. And for the $40 packs, I decided to include Daisy Fairy with the Prancer and Baby Peach Cherub with the Dreamy Egg. Now, the reason I included these things is because they all really fit the aesthetic of the Sky Tour. And... Honestly, like I can see them doing this kind of thing like these characters were also some of them were like the Valentine's characters and they weren't brought back in the special pipe for the LA tour So I think that they're going to be in the packs for the following tour, which is the sky tour For premium we decided to put in Mario racing as the main plan um, For the rest of them we decided to put in Red Koopa, the Parowing, and the Mushroom Glider now, we put in Mario Racing because I, I think it just fits perfectly well with it, and yeah. So I know this sounds really crazy, but for the ACP, I decided to include five new items. So these five items are Daisy Fairy and the Prancer, and then for the other three, I think it's time that they're going to add Tanuki Mario's entire set to the all-clear pipe. So... That includes Tanuki Mario, the Tanuki Kart, and the Tanuki Parafoil. So similar to the Cat Peach situation where they have them in a spotlight, but they're also in the all clear pipe. I think that's what they're sort of going to do. I think this all really fits with what they're doing in the tour. Like Daisy Fairy, yeah, she has the parentheses in her name, but they've shown that they don't care about that with like Peach Explorer and Peach uh, Wintertime. So... I think that they're going to add Daisy Fairy as well as the Prancer, and then I threw in Tanuki Mario set as well because honestly, that's a sh that's a shoe in at this point. I think that they're going to do it any any tour now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers by my 18th birthday, which is in approximately eight months from now. Make sure to go subscribe to Ryder as well because he's the best YouTuber in the world. Maybe I'm a little biased. Just kidding. He's
he's obviously the best YouTuber in the world. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll be able to do more of these kinds of videos together in the future on his channel. And yeah, see you guys all in the next one. Bye bye.